Okay guys, it's here, the Kama 2. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing video for you. I'll show you everything you get inside the Kama 2 package with the harness kit. So let's take a look in here real quick. Get this nice packaging with some information here. Step-by-step -step instructions on setup and uh, you get three months Kama Prime with this. And here's the GitHub where Kama's open pilot software is and of course the discord if you're not on there be sure to check that out let's see what else we've got so here is the Kama 2 itself you can see small changes from the uh, original Eon it has IR LEDs now and a camera that can see in infrared so now the driver facing camera uh, can see you know 24 7 day and night so that would be a really big improvement over the, you know, original system where it couldn't see you at night. So this also has the, what used to be Black Panda integrated into it and a new fan and no battery. So now it just plugs in with USB-C to the power on the relay and that's it. One connector. A lot more simplified, a lot easier to install, it has a new custom mount to mount it to the windshield and keep it a little bit more low profile, more minimal, which I'll be showing you install videos and comparisons to the old hardware in the future. So stay tuned for that stuff. All right, so in here, I have the rest of the kit. And this is the harness kit. Plus these are the uh, mounts for your windshield. This is the relay with the Toyota specific harness for my car. So this is a switching relay. This has an RJ45 connector and a USB-C connector. And this will mount under your uh, forward facing camera cover or above your rear view mirror. So that's the harness connector. And then that connects to the Kama 2 via this uh, USB-C cable. Last thing we have is the Kama power. This will connect to your OBD2 port. And then you'll route this wire up through the window trim and the headliner to the uh, relay box here and connect these two together. So that'll connect there, this connects here, this runs to your OBD2 port, this will connect into your factory camera system, and then it'll just be a USB-C cable to the Kama 2. And that's it guys. Nice, minimal, clean, and simple to install. So next I'll have an install video for the OpenPilot software installed on the Kama 2. And then I'll also do a full install video installing the Kama 2 onto my 2019 Toyota Corolla. So if you're interested in those videos, subscribe and stay tuned and they'll be coming out shortly. Thanks for watching.